in Jakarta after a long trial and a controversial case. A Canadian teacher is now learning his fate in Indonesia. The verdict and sentence coming down now. And let's join freelance reporter Jack Hewson, who has stepped out of the courtroom to report to us this morning. Jack, what are the details as far as the verdict for Neil Bantelman? Well, the, the verdict is guilty. Um, uh, we were told um, maybe five, ten minutes ago that uh, he was going to be facing a 15-year sentence, which is the maximum sentence, and that, in fact, three years more than uh, the prosecution was asking for, uh, prompting gasps around the courtroom. Um, it, it actually transpires now that it seems that he's going to get 10 years, but there seems to be some confusion because the, uh, the translation has now ceased, which we've been experiencing throughout the day. So uh, we're, we're kind of relying on the members of the uh, people in the, in the room who can actually translate to us as it happens. So it's, some, it's either 10 or 15 years. Okay. And as you say, prosecution asking for 12 on the three counts of uh, child sexual abuse. You mentioned gasps at the length of the sentence put forward. Uh, I'm wondering if there's been any other reaction. For example, his wife Tracy has been in the courtroom. Any other reaction from people there so far, Jack? Well, um, Neil himself has, uh, has, has remained largely uh, impassive throughout the day. Um, you might argue he's quite resigned. There have been uh, signs uh, before the verdict today and throughout today that all of the evidence that was being cited was very much against him. So he's a man who clearly seems to be resigned. He was going to be found guilty. Um, uh, Tracy uh, appeared somewhat cheerful as, it, as uh, the verdict was read out. Um, and in terms of all of the supporters who are here today, um, uh, it, it should be uh, noted that there are a lot of supporters from the school at which he works. There are many people who believe he is innocent. Um, there's been a sea of white shirts uh, from uh, the Jakarta International School, uh, otherwise known as just uh, parents and teachers who are here, uh, dressed in white to show their support. Um, and all of them look very despondent after what's been a fairly tortuous day, uh, eight hours of reading the verdict here. Uh, Jack, just before I let you go, the fact that there are so many there in support believing he is innocent, this has been a very controversial case. It's a complicated case, and there are many concerns about the type of evidence, the kinds of evidence that were put forward before the judges uh, to convict Neil Bantelman. Can you just remind us, when we talk about the outrage at this verdict, it's because of what the court heard. Take us through why this is a difficult case. Well, um... That is uh, very difficult to summarise. Um, I, I, uh, uh, I would say that and it, it is true that there have been uh, radically differing interpretations of what uh, evidence there is to back the claims of child rape. Um, they've been inter interpreted differently uh, by different experts, um, and the experts which have been offered by the defence in favour of Neil have, have been roundly rejected, uh, for the most part, by... Uh, the team of judges, the, third, the panel of three judges um, have rejected most of, uh, if, well, maybe not most of, but um, a sizable amount of the expert testimony in favour of Neil Bantelman uh, for variously, seemingly quite spurious reasons. It seems he's managed to uh, create, um, well, perhaps not he, but his, def his defence team has, uh, has angered the judge and, and uh, the team of judges to an extent, and this hasn't played well for him. Um, whether or not... Um, uh, definitively, you can say that the incidents didn't happen. It's a very different thing, but there is a big sense that um, he has not received a fair trial uh, and that this needs to be re-examined.